Goodbye, Maui. Hello, and welcome back to more wine adventures. This time, uh, we are departing Maui, heading to the Big Island. And it's some interesting looking surf there. I don't know what all the white caps are doing that far out in the ocean. I also wonder if there's like a sandbar there or something, but unfortunately this was not the best flight. Uh, I sat on the wrong side of the plane, I think. <laughs> Would have been far better if I had, I think, sat on the starboard side. I mostly saw water. Uh, the airport of Maui is located the north central part of the island and I think we kind of took off, flew over the ocean and turned right, flew south. And I think the people on the starboard side were treated to some pretty exquisite views of Maui that I did not see, unfortunately. Uh, but I did see a couple of whales. Uh, they might be on camera, I'm not sure, I haven't watched these in advance. Uh, they're probably not going to turn out too well, even if they are, but that was pretty cool. I probably would not have seen that on, uh, on the other side. Here we go, some land. <laughs> so, this must be the big island, I think. Although, I don't know for sure. Um, it probably is. Unless we flew over. I have no idea what the flight plan, flight path looked like. That would have been pretty cool to take a look at, actually. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if this is... This probably is Maui, actually. If it was early in the flight, maybe we... took off and kind of flew over it. But, I don't know. I, I wasn't filming the entire flight, so I can't remember if... This might actually be closer to the approach. Because I don't think I would have been just filming the ocean. Yeah, that's pretty... I'm, I'm still very impressed at how much country Hawaii has. Because you think they'd get there and just tourist it up, and that's, that's not what happened. Uh, not everywhere. Obviously, it has its places. Uh, Wahoo, Waikiki. Those areas are very touristy, developed. There's still huge swaths of Hawaii that are untouched, which is just fantastic. One of these videos uh, I've filmed in slow motion, so I'm curious to see the jet engine spinning. <laughs> it should only be for a few seconds. It's probably not going to be that exciting, but I thought, why not? Why not? This was actually a longer flight than uh, you might think. Um, I don't know, 20 minutes maybe? You, th you know, it's right there. You'd think it'd just be a quick jaunt over. And I mean, obviously it was pretty quick. And uh, the plane was only about a third of the way full. I, I probably should have just switched to the other side. but Doesn't matter. I, uh... I got there all the same. Yeah, that must have been Maui we just flew over. In fact, that was probably East Maui. <laughs> Which has a lot of country. It's the rainforest. It kind of looked like it. And it's probably the big island in the distance there. So we must have taken off to the north. Probably did like a 180, turned south, flew over Maui, and kind of approached Kona Airport, which is also... It's like on the north, uh, the northwest part of the island. More north than south anyway, it's, it's not the tippy top, but... Pretty, pretty beautiful flight anyway. Whoops. Yeah, here we go, that's gotta be a big island approach. I'd have to check a map to geolocate that. Well, I 
up to your locate, but check the geography. Does a big island have something to jet out like that? Check my phone real quick. Also lots of trees from this angle. So I spent Actually spent one one extra day on the Big Island versus yeah that's got to be the uh, I bet we're looking at that that's got to be Howie Howie that looks like the most northern town on on the Big Island yeah there's a little part of the north north part of the Big Island that juts out that's got to be what we're looking at on the left here. I didn't know what I was doing when I booked my Airbnb. I was just, just looking around, and actually this one was Burbo, and I found one for 85 bucks a night. I was like, whoa, you know, that's super cheap. Um, so I jumped on it. <laughs> uh, you know, I paid way more than that in Kihei. But it turns out that place was an ocean view, which is kind of down south and way off the beaten path kind of out in the country <laughs> so turns out I was driving to Kona pretty much the entire time I was there for the diving that's where the dive boat took off and it was over an hour to get there so I had quite a bit of a commute on the uh, on the big island in fact I think there was only one day I kind of slept in so to speak I, I did early morning diving I prefer diving in the morning better uh, because then you got the rest of the day to do whatever you want. You know, it's kind of hanging over your head if uh, you do it in the evening. And, um, of course, you can do it all day if you want. But uh, two dives a day is bad enough for me. I, I've found, especially repetitive days. You know, if I'm doing one day diving, like if I go to Mermet for the day, then I'd like to do probably more than two dives. But... If I'm going, you know, diving consecutive days, I think two two per day is about all I want. Uh, it just my ears start getting weird, and I don't know. It, two's enough. <laughs> so I like to get out there in the morning, get my two in, be back by noon, lunchtime, you know, noon, one o'clock. Then you can have a few beers and, and uh, just enjoy the rest of the day. That's that's a perfect schedule in my opinion. But. Yeah, that's uh, that's got to be the Big Island. It has to be. It's pretty cool. You can see the whole thing there. We uh, yeah, I missed. So I missed Maui, but I guess I got a pretty good look at uh, the Big Island here. And even that looks very undeveloped. Low clouds. I just I love those low clouds. The clouds are weird. I mean, look, we're staring at a bunch of clouds high in the sky. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the slow motion video, so we'll, we'll take a look at that in slow motion. Approach. This might be where we saw the whales. Uh, by Maui. Hello, Big Island. Uh, nope, no whales. All right. I guess I did not get that on camera. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry for the tease. Didn't mean to tease you. But just already, I felt like the volcanic rock was a lot more apparent on the big island here, at least in this part of the island, than it was on Maui. This is kind of what it looked like at the top of Haleakala. 
except, you know, this is sea level. Um, it's pretty cool. Oh, I meant to squeeze in a uh, picture of my car. I'll probably still do that, and I just won't talk about it. <laughs> I'll flash it on there. Maybe I'll flash it at the end. That's what I'll do. Um, yeah, I just rented, you know, cheapest thing I could find, compact, something or other. And they ended up giving me a Camaro. <laughs> Camaro SS 2023. It was brand new. You can see the HUD there. Uh, yeah, so I picked up this sucker and uh, at the you know, suggestion of the landlord, he said, buy some groceries in Kona because when you get to Ocean View, there's not going to be a store open. And that was the truth. <laughs> I think. Ocean View, at least the place by me, had one one bar maybe, and they closed at like eight or nine, so I never never even went to that. I was pretty much every day, up before hours before the sunrise and driving back to Ocean View after sunset, so I was leaving it was dark, I can't home it was dark, it was pretty exhausting. Oh, I found, uh, is this, oh, oh, this should have been on the, uh, Maui side. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, so this is the picture I took of the bird on Maui. I didn't realize I had a video also. And 